363 days of waiting and we're back with the greatest bicycle race on earth. Welcome to tonight's program where we bring you the team presentation of the 111th Tour de France. Look at these scenes. It's the first time we've had a Grand Depart in Italy and it is Florence, Firenze, Toscana, Tuscany in Italy. And look at that new Italian champion's jerseys for Alberto Bettiol. He won it right here less than a week ago with an incredible final lap. Lotto Destiny and the new Belgian champion, Arno Delis, looking like he's enjoying it. The there he is. Coming from Belgium. And then this guy, Arise, Sir Mark Cavendish. Can he do it? Can he do it, I ask you? I'll remind you, Mark Cavendish, along with Eddie Merckx, holds the greatest number of Tour de France stage wins ever, 34. Mark Cavendish is here for one reason. He should be sat with his feet up enjoying watching this at home, but he's come back for one more Grand Boucle, one more ride. Oh, look, it's the world champion. We haven't seen him for a while, have we? Remember this guy? I think you might be seeing quite a lot of him over the next three weeks. Is he going to be the lead-out man, Jalux, for possibly the fastest sprinter in the world? If Jasper Philipson, that's still up for debate. Would you like to see the rainbow jersey yellow? Yeah, for sure. But I know uh, how hard racing is here in, in Italy, so um, we'll try, but um, it will be the legs uh, that determine. And Remco Ednepol making his Tour de France debut. The 2022 Vuelta winner, of course, two-time world champion, current elite time trial champion. Like a lot of our big stars, recovering from early season crashes, of course, Remco Ednepol. I'm, uh, I'm feeling ready for the Tour with his uh, strong squad. I think we, uh, we, have a big, we made a big goal of this race, so uh, we will go for sure all in over the three weeks uh, to get the best result as possible. And... Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. A stage in the Tour is a stage in the Tour. If it's the first one or the last one, I think it uh, doesn't matter which one we, we would like to win. So uh, we will try our best. Red Bull Bora Hansgrohe, Primoz Roglic, there he is. Former Slovenian champion, of course. This team is Red Bull Bora Hansgrohe. UAE Team Emirates, of course, the team of Tadej Pogacar, the Slovenian two-time Tour de France champion. Champion from 2020 and 2021. Geraint Thomas rolls out, fresh from his third place at this spring's Giro d'Italia as well. I think he's cutting a pretty relaxed figure as well. Um, he's reported in the last few weeks, in his words, I've been off the beers since the Giro. So I take that as a good sign. Will it be Carlos Rodriguez who's their general classification focus here? Check this out. I was trying to work out how to describe this. I put it down as peacock feathers, but it's no none of the such, is it? It is a kind of bluey green paisley-like affair. Their change jersey for Visma Lisa bike. The team of our defending champion Jonas Vinegar. Well, but not. Haven't seen him for a while. Lots of questions about this team. The form of Jonas Vinegar. Um, I'm first of all very happy to be here at the start line, and uh, yeah, that itself is a victory for me. Ladies and gentlemen, the trophy of the Tour de France 2024, La Malheur Jaune!